Redfish and shrimp, cool beyond. Check it out. What's up, guys? We're going into Lent. Let me show y'all this redfish and shrimp, cool beyond. Check it out. Got this beautiful redfish. Two pounds of golf shrimp. Let's go ahead and get our seafood ready. We're going to make a nice stock. I'm going to clean up our redfish, take the skin off, and then cut the meat into some nice big chunks. You want to reserve all the waste here. That's what we're going to use to build our stock. Go ahead and peel your shrimp, and you want to make sure you leave that little tail piece on as it contains a lot of flavor. Go ahead and devein them, and you want to save all these shells. Add your shrimp shells and your fish carcass to a large stock pot. I'm going to also add in some vegetable trimmings. So celery pieces, some onions, carrots, parsley, green onion tops, and some bay leaves. Anytime you're making stock, you want to start off with cold water. That's going to help draw out those flavors. Now for a seafood stock, we really don't have to go long. I let this go about an hour and I went ahead and strained it out. All right, y'all, we got our seafood ready and we got our stock made. We're gonna go ahead and start making the sauce. We'll start out by cooking down our trinity. So that's onions, bell peppers, and celery. Once that's good and sweated down, we're gonna add in some garlic. Now we'll go ahead and add in a can of tomato paste and we actually want to brown this down. Those sugars in that tomato paste will actually start to caramelize and you'll transform the flavor in it. Ooh. We'll go ahead and add in our tomato products. I'm adding two cans of crushed tomatoes and then one can of Rotel. I need a little bit of roux. I don't feel like making a whole batch, so I'm gonna use this Raging Cajun seasoned roux. Get that roux stirred in, and once that's well combined, we got this beautiful base to which we could add upon a lot of flavor. Add in our seafood stock. Go ahead and throw in a couple bay leaves. Now we're gonna season it up. I'm using Boudreaux's Little Bit Better Creole Seasoning. And then my low and slow simmer. Now we'll go ahead and let that cook for a few hours. We're gonna add in some green onions. I got some thin cut lemon slices just to give it a little bit of freshness. We're we'll adding in that beautiful redfish and also a little shrimp. Now we already got our flavor from the stock, so we don't need to cook this long. We just want to poach that fish and that shrimp right in that sauce just until it's cooked. Now that'll eat. 